Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to look at the relationship between the sample sizes and the standard deviations of the sample distributions of the sample means. Wow, that's uh, again a mouthful, but let's try to make sense out of that. So here we have a population distribution. It's a normal distribution. We can find the mean or the average of the population, and we can see that one standard deviation away from the mean is about there and that is the population. Now, what we have on the right side is we have what we call distributions or sample distributions of the sample means, the averages of a number of samples. Hmm. So here, when the sample size is small, we don't really have a normal distribution, but if we do, it is spread out and the standard deviation is far away from the mean. In other words, the standard deviation is large when the sample size is small. As the sample size increases, and again, we're dealing here with the distribution of the sample means, the dis distribution of the sample averages, and notice when the sample size increases, it tends to decrease the standard deviation. It tends to bring the, the variation or the spread of the distribution together so we have a smaller standard deviation in the sample means and then as the sample size goes all the way to 30 which is a preferable min minimum number of a sample size then notice the standard deviation of the distribution of the means is relatively small we have much more of what we call a normal distribution and the standard deviation of that distribution is small so we know from previous videos that the average of the population equals the average of the distribution of the means, especially when we take enough samples and the sample sizes are large enough. Then the average of the population will equal the average or the mean of the distribution of the sample, uh, the sample means. But what is the relationship between the standard deviation of the population and the standard deviation of the distribution of the means? of the sample means, I should say. Well, notice that it's not the same because you can see that for a one particular standard deviation of population, we will have varying standard deviations when we're looking at the distribution of the sample means. And we already know that as a sample size gets larger, then the standard deviation gets smaller. So we, we're looking for a relationship that there is a relationship between the standard deviation of population and the standard deviation of the distribution of the means, of the sample means, and we realize that the larger the sample size, the smaller the standard deviation of the sample means, and so now we need to come up with that relationship. If you're interested in that relationship, we'll explain that on the next video. So yes, this is another one of those cliffhangers.